Hi guys, today we're taking a look at an Enigma 2 encryption machine. This is a craftsman's replica of a simplified Enigma machine. Enigma machines generally are rotor-based code wheel and ciphering machines. This is just a poor imitation of one that's used in escape rooms. On the front side of this, we have the this board on which it just says Enigma 2 encryption machine made in the USA creative craft house copyright and then there are three encryption wheels. Now you could buy these when I bought this one I could have got it with more encryption wheels. They also make smaller versions and they also make longer versions that can hold five encryption wheels. And these just pop off easily. On the back side there's two little hooks that you can hang it on the wall, which I do. And these encryption wheels are numbered. Some of the models actually have double-sided encryption wheels, so with if you got one of those models, then with three re reels you would actually have the equivalent of six reels. Now, the way you use this is you pick the order of the three discs, like a real Enigma machine, which had multiple disks, part of the code would be the sender and receiver have to know which disk and what order they're in. So we have three disks here labeled 50, 60, and 70, and you could put these in any order, and that would indeed completely change the way the encryption would be. So you have to know that, and then you also have to know a keyword. So the way you would set this up is with some keyword, and we'll pick uh, this order of 50, 60, and 70. When we'll set the first, and our keyword will be the word K, K-A-Y. So I'll set this first disc on the left to a K with that arrow, and the second disc, number 60, to an A. Just a second. And then the last disc pointing to this arrow on the right we would set to a Y. And that would be our setup for encrypting a message. Now there's a lot of history on Enigma encryption machines. They were a big deal during World War II and I'll send links to a Wikipedia article about them and also a really good Enigma machine animation. If you've never dwelled into Enigma machines. The animation is fascinating. And then the best description I've ever seen, well, and I haven't looked at hundreds of those, but by far the best that I've ever seen was by a fellow named Steve Gibson. And I'll leave a link to podcast they did where he covers the inscription machine and also a review of the movie about the imitation game, which was about the encryption machine also. Wonderful movie, by the way. All right, so to encode a message, we would first, of course, have our disks aligned properly and our keyword, which we just did. And then the input wheel is on the right. So you read the output letters from the first disk, the left disk, and the middle disk. So if we were to encode the message, then we would simply Pick the first letter you want to use. If your first letter that you were going to encrypt would be an F, you would turn this to an F. And then the D would be the letter you would send out. And then if the second letter you were going to send was an I, you'd turn the right side to an I, but then you would read it off the second disk. And then if the third letter you were going to send was would be an S, then you would go back to the first disk. So you use these disks every other time to encrypt the message. To decrypt the message, you would do just the reverse. You would again start by setting up, up the initial setup, which we had for K-A-Y, so that you have the proper disks in order and the proper settings for each disk. And then the incoming message, you would align the first letter you receive on this disk, read it out on the right side, and the second letter you would 
align it with this disc and lead it out on the right side. Then you switch back and forth. So you're going from left to right when you decrypt the message. So, for instance, here's my little worksheet. Let's assume that we have a met. Here's our alignment order for the wheels. The 50, 60, 70 disc. Our keyword is K. And our incoming message is D. R P U U P. So that's our secret message and we want to decode it. So again, we start with the keyword in and we'd turn this D on the first disk and we'd read out F for our incoming message. Then we would align the R on the second disk and we get an O. Then we would align the P back on the first disk and we get a T. Then we would align a U on the second disc. And we get an R. Then we would align another U back on the first disc. And we get an O. And finally, we would align an P on the second disc. And we get an N. And that spells out Fotron, F-O-T-R-O-N. And that'll be the name of the camera on our next camera video. Now I'll also leave, leave links in the description for where you can purchase one of these on Amazon. And also directly from the seller, uh, the creator of these, cra creativecrafthouse.com. And I'll leave three different links there because they have them in two different sizes and then some with double-sided gears, and it gets complicated, but these you might stumble across in an escape room. And also, in the podcast by Steve Gibson, I'll leave a description of where you can search for in the video to find the beginning of his actual coverage of the imitation game and the explanation of the Enigma machine. Those are two different points. It's a very long podcast, 58 minutes in is when he starts talking about the imitation game and they talk about what's good about it and what historical inaccuracies there are. And then at one hour and 13 minutes and 15 seconds in is an, a long and detailed explanation of an Enigma machine and how the real Enigma machines, Enigma machines really work. So that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.